week <laughs> because I know everyone was anticipating for so long. I know that I'll wait for a book, especially when I leave you in a not so nice place <laughs> at the end of the second book, that there is that need that, that wants to have the finality to see where it's going to happen. Um, but I, you know, it, it takes a while to publish a book. So when I get asked, is, is there a love triangle? Is there like a love triangle? Mm -hmm. and actually all three of the books. Right. You know, um, I kind of, my answer usually to readers is sort of, kind of, but not really. I mean, so, I mean, would you agree? I mean, how, would you, how would you answer that if someone were to ask you? Because there's never a choice. Um, it was always heaven. Yeah. Always. And it, but Cole definitely was on purpose. He had to have the right personality that he would, um, almost like a Drew personality, where he wanted to know her but not enough of her. Um, so she didn't have to open up with him. Um, if she was out with, she couldn't be with someone that was again more in her face like an Evan, she would absolutely, especially at that point in her life, would have bolted. Um, so she couldn't have an aggressive personality that she you know, with her. Um, so I needed him to be a passive. I needed him to be um, insightful enough, but not make her uncomfortable. And he was a rebound. Really, it comes down to. Um, so yeah, he's a nice guy, but if, if he was the right personality for who I need to, you know, so he served the purpose. Yeah, he served, what, definitely he served what she needed. And he's a guy, yeah. so there was definitely that chemistry there. And you know, she was using him, and there's a point that he was using her too. Um, but it's just you know, he ended up really liking her. Um, she was honest right from the beginning, and I know there's some people that were, that were either angry that he was there at all. Or the way she treated him. Yeah, she needed a rebound. She needed a buffer. Mm -hmm. um, so she and also needed a, a point, of, like a point of comparison, just to recognize what was real. Um, and the moment that it became real with Evan, he, because even when they were in California together, Cole was that measurement of what she was feeling for Evan. So when people, especially when they get back and Evan's there, and the first time they have an intimate scene, her and Cole, I did read some reviews. People were like, "What? Why? Evan's there? Why would she do this?" <laughs> Because this is the guy she's seeing. She doesn't want him in there. She's angry. She's upset. She's trying to push him away. So you see that their relationship is your is your guide to seeing exactly when she starts feeling things from Evan. Because the moment she does is the moment she, that is at that they're dancing and they look at each other like it's done. We're done. So Evan wanted her to be, to be better and. Jonathan challenged her just to look at the darkness inside of her and, and kind of either heal from it in his own way. He was trying to help her, but he was also destroying her by making her recognize her own faults and her and accepting her feelings for her mother. I mean, Evan would never have pushed her in that direction. Do you think it was good that Jonathan did that to her? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Like necessary, yeah, it was very, he was very necessary, yeah. but it was like the light and the dark. They were very contrasting, um, I even in physical form, of who they are um, and what they did for her. But it wasn't about it wasn't about the love that she had for Jonathan. It was a connection, um, and then it just in comparison, she became unworthy of Evan, or so she thought. So. That's where that distance comes in because she is almost going to the dark side, I guess, in that way, where she starts realizing how destructive she is mm -hmm. to the people around her. And her choices that she thinks she's doing the best thing is actually destroying um, the portion that, again, that she thinks in her head, everyone around her. Jonathan's um, feelings for her, whether he does love her or not, is I kind of left that up to you guys. Can you really love somebody you have this, this um, really? horrible in a way, connection with, this really dark connection with the head. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. So is it really love or is he just, this is the first person he's ever been able to talk to about it. So it's just more of a, you have to definitely look at that and decide. If, I, I question it in myself. Um, but she never, and I, and I made sure even when he kissed her, she would retract. So there was never a temptation for her. She didn't understand what was going, what was happening between them. She didn't know where that line got crossed. And that's where, you know, when she had those uncomfortable moments where he's calling her and texting her, and he's, she's like, I, like, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. I'm feeling this is strange because it's just a, it is. She, she's, he's tempting her in a way 
she'd never been before, but it was never about choosing him. It was never, it was never about that. So when this Team Jonathan, Team Evan thing mm -hmm. came out, oh, after everyone read that, I was like, who's Team Jonathan? Well, there I, are. I there are people that really yeah. like him. And they were like, well, maybe they don't, they would be good for each other, they help each other heal. And I'm like, but so where did this come from? Like, why are there's, there's no, there's no choice. There's no choice between Evan and Jonathan. I'm like, you guys can think that I maybe want you, but in my, so that's why it's so funny. It was the interpretation of it, because when I created it, I didn't, I didn't, I know I definitely wanted there to be tension, and um, for, for Jonathan's feelings to, to be strong, but maybe um, not in a, a healthy, again, healthy way, um, and just being confusing about what they, exactly they are, because uh, I do believe there's a misinterpretation of what love is. Often, they had to get to know each other again. It had been two years mm -hmm. by the time they had to see each other, and a lot has happened. I mean, she's neither one of them are the same. Mm -hmm. um, so it is getting to know, it's getting the trust back, and that's huge because you can't just go back into a relationship without realizing what it was that went wrong in the first place um, and fixing that before you can move on. And that's the that kept happening. And that's the same thing as Sarah was saying and Serena just, you know, she's like, I need to, he needs to not, he doesn't need to forgive me before, and I need to forgive myself before we can be healthy together. And that's what it is, they want to do it right. They want, if they were going to be together, they needed to get, put all the cards on the table, they need to be completely honest. And that's what it came down to, and until the last pages of just getting that honesty and, and just accepting you for everything I've done, these all the decisions I've made, Love me or hate me for them, it's your choice now. So, it's, it, but you have to build that trust and have that forgiveness, otherwise you're stuck in that name. It was, it was, it was very much, I mean, I, I love thrillers. That's what I grew up reading. So I like to write in that suspenseful way. So at the end of the chapter, I kind of leave you in a place where you're like, okay, but I can read one more because I leave you, I don't, I don't conclude it. I leave you in a place that something is going to happen now. And so it's very much on purpose, the way I write it. But it was definitely um, on purpose to kind of lead you up to what way, because you can understand it in both circumstances where you can forgive her for holding such a horrible secret or you can accept the fact that she understand why she did it. Like this is part of her life, this part of who she is. Yeah. Um, is you know taking over and taking on the burden of others. Well, I can't officially say anything yet, but I've been talking to a production team. Um, we're trying to do something very innovative and new, and um, I'm excited to be the guinea pig for their project um, to the point where I to learn how to write a screenplay. Oh. Yeah, so I am going to, so it will be my voice, I'll be a heavy hand in this project. I'm meeting with them again next week, but I don't have, there's no contracts yet. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to go into too much detail mm -hmm. without, because it could, you know, it could fall apart tomorrow and be like, oh, So yeah. there's a chance. Yes, there's there a chance. is. There's it's a chance. very, very strong chance. Okay. Um, but it won't necessarily mean that it's going to be um, big screen. But that's what I mean, that's what the, the novelty of this, the newness of what we're creating is going to be um, a different experience. So, but I think it's going to be better.